Hey guys, it's Loan, and what I have for you today is my elevator design. It's a very similar one to the one I posted about a year ago, or the one I showcased about a year ago. It's very similar. It's very similar concept, just much more compact, and a lot resource friendlier too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. Alright guys, so first thing you want to do to build this is lay out where your elevator is going to go. So here we have the second floor actually, and this is at y equals 40. Now the first floor I have built here is at y24. The important thing to keep in mind when you're building this is that the floors have to be an even number of blocks away, otherwise it won't work. Now, now that we have this on the first floor, what we're going to do is we're going to build our elevator car right over here. Now, we're going to need to have a couple pistons going under, like so. So, important thing, these top pistons are sticky and the bottom ones are normal. And this is going to be a pain because I didn't plan this out. And then there you go. So that is the first bit done. Now I'm going to start putting in a little bit of the structure, like the structure of the elevator shaft, I should say. I'm just gonna keep building this up. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna put in the trap doors for the elevator on both sides. Whoop. Like that. I'm gonna put in whoop, a little bit of lighting there, some sea lanterns. Then doing, doing some sticky pistons. I'm gonna build this up a bit more so I can place in the normal pistons facing down and I'll just start building that up. Uh, and when you're building this, it's, it'll be important to have a obsidian or some other immovable block under it while you're doing the redstoning, just to make sure it doesn't move. All right, so now you see this white wool, we're gonna build that all the way up to reach this, all right? So I'll be right back. All right, so now I have it level with the floor. So now we'll just imagine elevator being right here. So there's gonna be carpet, trap door, trap door, and then two pistons right there. So now we're going to build up to that. So that is another one, two, three, four, five blocks. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to build up another five blocks, like so. Alright, so that is the elevator shaft ready to go. So now that we have the elevator shaft, I'm going to go ahead and put in the sliding doors, which are going to go right here. Ooh, not wool. I'll use iron for those. Easy. Just sliding doors and I'm gonna do that on the top floor as well all right so now we got those doors in what we're going to do is we're gonna start the layout for the redstone so I'm just gonna be making a shape like this all the way around and this is lined up with that bot with those bottom pistons we're gonna have dust here dust all the way along here dust there and repeaters here. And we are going to repeat this every two blocks, so like this. So the next layer would be here. Just exactly the same, like that. And it's gonna be repeating upwards the entire way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because that's gonna be a bit boring. But I'll do it one more time just so you understand. Dust there, dust all the way around here. And here, they're gonna have repeaters facing into those blocks. 
All right, so I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. Realize I didn't mention that when you come across these doors or when you're building next to these doors, you need to use half slabs instead of full blocks. And you'll see why later. Well, actually, I'll just go ahead and explain. It's because we don't want that dust powering the pistons. And in fact, we're going to redirect that redstone using these buttons just to be sure that they don't power those pistons. Okay, so I was building this and I realized the on the second floor, you should actually build up six blocks, not five, so that you can have one more layer at the top here. Just gonna build that real quick. Just so yeah, need to have needs to be six blocks instead of five. I can't count. Now that we have that part done, we're going to start out with the torch burnouts, which are gonna be starting over here, next to that second repeater in from the right. There'll be up a top slab there, dust on top of it, blocks here and there torch, a little bit of dust there, another torch over here, so that is just one, two, and up one. Then we're going to come over to that burnout torch, build a little shape like that, dust here, repeater, and repeater there, and we are going to continue this all the way up except one thing to note is that this is actually going to be the highest slab so right here would be the highest torch now that we have that built we're going to go ahead and start the timings for the downward circuit so we're going to go ahead and use blue wool for this some blocks here dust there a couple more blocks here and there so like a cross then we're going to have four tick repeater there. We're gonna have a repeater here. That's gonna be the input line. We're gonna have a torch here. A block out to the side with the dust on it. Another torch here. Repeater here on three ticks. Then another dust here. And that's basically going to be repeated all the way down. Uh, there's one little trick to that though. It has to stop early. Uh, so by that I mean you're gonna stop repeating that uh, at the fifth one from the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. That one is gonna have the last dust on it. Because that will be the last one in the downward uh, circuit. Alright, so we're going to do this a couple more times. So, four tick repeater there. Torch. Oop. Dust there. Another torch. Block. Repeater. And then another dust here. And again, we're just going to repeat that all the way down until you get to this dust, which will have a let me check it will have a repeater going into it like that all right we got the downward circuit done so now we're going to go ahead and start the upward timing circuits and this has that same trick you're going to start or stop at the fifth one so let's go ahead and mark it so one two three four five we're gonna have orange representing the up circuit let me double check this one two three four five and that is where the upward timings will stop so let me go down here and show you the pattern i'm gonna have dust here a block here torch and this is a lot more complicated than the other one so let me go ahead and mark out where the next one will be all right, so we have a torch under there going into that block. We have a repeater on four ticks going up into a torch, block on top of that, and a repeater 
going into there on three ticks. Now, we're not quite done yet, because the upward timings are the upward timings are a little more complicated. So coming off of that block, we need to have another torch. Block on top of that, another torch. And we're gonna have dust over here. The torch on that block there and a upward slab with dust on it there and we're gonna need to repeat that all the way up to where we marked it so let me go ahead and do a couple more on camera so you can see how to do this I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the next one will go so we'll have a torch there torch or block there repeater here into a block with the torch block on top repeater on three ticks going into that dust and on this side we'll have a torch there going into a block with that torch on it with the dust a torch there and an upward slab there all right and we'll go I'll go ahead and do this off camera now we have that built up we just have that repeater going to that dust there we actually need to repeat this circuit one more time so we'll just do a torch into another torch into another torch redstone there torch with a block on it and a top slab there and that should be the upward timings all done. And now we can actually remove these immovable blocks. Fix those trap doors as well. And we can actually leave these bottom ones here. Now let's get the inputs built. So I'm going to real quickly build a little room for this. Uh, so be right back now we have that room built I have it on the top floor on and bottom floor I already marked out where the inputs will go so input for the down circuit on the top floor is just next to the red wool I placed earlier uh, upward circuit is also next to the red wool the same thing on the bottom floor but and before we go ahead and move forward let's wire up these doors so put dust there and here we're gonna go ahead and have a redstone block here the piston on top have block a full block there and have slabs all the way across another full block sticky piston and redstone block I'm going to have dust all along those slabs and full blocks there to make sure there's no interference from this circuit here. For the input going into the bottom timing circuit, you need to set that repeater on four ticks, the one we had left on one tick before. I have dust on top of it, like on top of that block, like so. Repeater whoop, on one tick into a block into that sort of shape there with a dust there and repeated there and that's just to make sure that it has a six tick pulse going through it all right then we'll have blocks like that and comparator here block here torch there we're going to have a dropper hopper there, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start a timing circuit here. Just a typical comparator timer there. That's just to give you enough time to get in the elevator after pushing the button, which will be on the other side of that wall. We'll have... Whoop, oops have repeater there dust going there and block to block it off and that 
is the top circuit. Well, let me actually fix that. It's actually not quite done, so we get the dropper hopper there, and it can just be any item you want. All right, now that we have that, we actually need to connect it up to the door. So we're gonna have block there, repeater here. It's gonna go up like so. We need to have two slabs and blocks out like this. We'll have dust here and there. Repeater here on two ticks. Comparator there. And actually you're going to have another dust there. I'm here on the bottom floor now. And I realize we don't have these doors hooked up yet either. So let's do that. We have dust on that block. And then a torch going into it. That's going to power all those pistons there. To open and close the door, have uh, another torch going in diagonally. Then we're gonna have slabs there. That one can be a block. That's it's another slab. Torch going into that torch, just mirrored on the other side, or like we have it on the other side. Now, because I did that torch second it actually sent a pulse so it lost the blocks like that oh well I'll just do it this that way there we go that should fix it all right and now we'll have dust all along there and we're gonna have repeater comparator and piston there that's gonna have a cauldron on it we'll get to that in a second for the input we're gonna have a pier there remember there's gonna be a button on the other side of that we have dust go along like there another repeater and there's going to be another comparator timer here this uh, torch there Put some dust here and there be a piston there piston mono stable going to a four tick repeater and you're gonna build that shape dust Oops, get rid of that going around into a two tick repeater and and I get the feeling this is wrong we actually had extra blocks down here those repeaters that went in the L shape those are actually part of the downward circuit but since the downward circuit stops up here we don't need the other ones below that back over to where the input was and we'll go ahead and hook up the or a piston monostable here just a real quick one grab a repeater and that's just one tick monostable because this will have a cauldron on it let me put that in now actually so cauldron here actually one up full cauldron actually doesn't really matter but that's going to act as a T flip flop to toggle when those doors are open. Now we're going to hook up the timing circuits up to the doors so that when you've reached your destination, the doors will open for you. So we're going to start with the bottom ones. So we'll have a four tick repeater coming off of it, sort of like we had before. This is going to come down in a weird shape. It's sort of like a weird spiraling shape. Let me get it out like that. All right, all of this is going to have dust on it. And 
actually this needs to be over here like that all right then you have it go down I'm just gonna real quick bring it out like this so I can get an idea of where it's gonna go have a block here block there I'm just gonna get rid of that block underneath it four tick repeater here dust all the way around to here and that's gonna be replaced with a slab another block here and right there's going to be another mono stable first let's go and put in the one tick repeater block here get rid of that for now block there slab there and dust let me fix this then we'll have dust here and a block to finish off that mono stable you may have noticed that we have the top floor going down and the bottom floor going up but we don't have the inputs to call the elevator to your floor we'll go ahead and do that right now it's basically just going to be slime it's just going to be slime blocks going down to the circuits that we already have built so here is just going to be piston several blocks away then we'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven slime redstone block on the side come down oh that's messed up ten slime redstone block there one two three blocks down dust there be sure that the, every block next to the slime blocks are immovable and that all the slabs that we had before are replaced with hoppers all right now that I got that done I'm going to go ahead and that's wrong that's wrong that should be a repeater I think I messed that up when I broke that block for that mono stable. Let me go ahead and finish this out though, which is actually it's going to be piston with a redstone block on it. You may need to, yours may need to be different because mine's actually a pretty short elevator. Uh, but basically, you just need to make repeat that pattern all the way down so like right here there'll be another piston and then slime blocks going down just like that one and just make sure that there's no dust like this like next to that re repeater and that's the only thing to keep in mind when you're doing this but because mine is such a small ele elevator I'm just gonna have piston there with redstone block this side's a little bit more straightforward it's going to have a repeater there dust block here and right here is gonna be our piston we're gonna have 11 slime blocks going up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and I think it's actually 10 Hmm. Oh, no, it is 11. It is 11. Because then we'll have empty space there and another piston there. And then we'll just repeat that going up. But my elevator is just so small, I don't need to do more than one. So let me go ahead and replace all of these blocks here with immovable blocks. Because otherwise it won't work. All right, and let me actually just go ahead and show you how the top one should connect to the uh, bottom circuit or downwards, downward circuit. And I have a immovable block there. Actually, no, it needs to be here. Normally, it's up one higher, so basically just need to connect it up 
to this comparator timer up here. And with that, it should all be working. Let's test the call button. And there it goes. Alright, I'm going to test the downwards to make sure that this works. And it's not. Let's see. There's a button here. Goes into this and I'm dumb. I had these comparators facing the wrong way. Alright. Try that again. There we go. And that's... That's wrong. I messed something up. I found what was wrong. I had a repeater on two ticks. That was screwing everything up. So now let me just fix this again. Because it's still messed up. And there we go. All working except for that. The doors are a little off because I was just messing with it. Let me check up here. Those need to be fired. All right. All right, and that is it done. Except you may have noticed when it was running. Let me show it again real quick. You may have noticed that when it runs, it actually has light updates. And that's what's causing that flashing. To prevent that, just have blocks, whoop, any type of blocks on the top, covering up the elevator shaft. And with that, it should be good to go. Please don't break on me. Oh, thank God. Thank God it worked. Alright, that is it for this tutorial. I have plans on improving this. I'm not going to share those just yet because I need to make sure I can do it first. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you later.